<coughs> Sorry about my um, lack of arm coverings. Uh, I just went for a run. I, I, I was still covered because it's it's really cold out because it's Illinois and it's December. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to cool down and uh, sorry. The guns are out. Oh. I went tool mode there. Sorry. <laughs> How about every oh, like almost every other state getting snow besides us, except for California. They they're getting fire. <laughs> sorry. Correction. Chicago. I guess got a little bit of snow. Springfield. Central Illinois. This general area hasn't gotten snow yet, which I'm okay with because I hate the devil's dandruff, if you will. Wait, isn't that like a code name for cocaine? As of this video, what's kind of trending around um, is uh, this, uh, uh, what's his name, Keaton Michael? Am I correct? Oh. His, his name is Keaton, and he, he kind of put this message out of, of uh, he's being bullied because he's, he's a little different, um, or whatever. Um, and this is, this is a touchy subject nowadays because there's, there's a lot of, you know, theories on bullying and, and you know, how to stop, how to stop bullying and how to, how to battle it. And um, coming from someone, um, a little background on this, I, I was bullied, and I also was a bully. Because I was bullied, and then I, you know, kind of girthed up a little bit. I got, I got, got kind of big. Um, I kind of did the bullying first, so that to protect myself, which isn't isn't the right response. People don't don't bull, don't preempt a bully to protect yourself from being bullied. Teacher had pointed out that I was being a bully, and it it, it broke my heart. I remember actually very distinctly them telling me, he's like, you're being a bully," and I was like, "No, no, no like." I'm not the, and then I sat and thought on it. And I was like, "Wow, I am," and I felt super bad about it because I was bullied. Like I said, you know, I was I was picked on. I was always a thicker, thicker guy, and that's it's all right. And I've always been a goofy guy, but it, that's whatever. Um, but uh, I think the the way to combat bullying, I don't know. Uh, it's number one, uh, teaching your kids that. Uh, there's gonna be bullying. I mean, there's no way to stop bullying, I don't think, because humans are humans, but that doesn't give us an excuse to just ignore it. Bullying should never be ignored. <clears throat> we should strive to teach bullies to, to, ref to be reformed, to, to stop the bullying. They're, if, if they become bullies from, you know, either the way they were raised or just a naturally aggressive, um, um, personality, that doesn't mean that that's okay but uh, to, to encourage the kids being bullied you should um, learn to protect yourselves <sighs> excuse me because there's some bullies out there that are going to try to physically hurt you like really bad and that's that's like the like the top you know worst kind of bullying and that that does happen and that's it's ridiculous no one has any right to hurt anyone else just simply because they're different um, there's a lot of that going on in the world, isn't there? <laughs> <coughs> and we should also be striving to to reform the bullies, to turn the bullies into people who see different people as still people. And they are. They're 100% still people. Just because you, you have a bigger nose or because you talk differently or because you have different skin color or, or this or that or this or that. If you like anime, you like anime. If you, if you like superhero movies, you like superhero movies. If you read comic books, you read comic books. Um, we, we had a kid in our high school that ate his sandwich every day on his fist. He would just place the sandwich there. Weird? Yes. 100% weird. No reason to do that. That's not really a reason to pick on him. Not really a reason to make fun of him or anything. But we, talk, we talked about it behind his back, and I don't think our intentions were hurtful, but, I mean, come on. We should... Strive to, to teach the kids who are bullying that bullying isn't okay, that they need to they need to be better, and they grow up to be better people. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't think anyone is is um, past um, reform or past being taught better. But um, teach your kids that, you know, people are, that there are going to be bullies out there, and that uh, if they're not being bullied, they should watch out for the kids who are being bullied. If they are the bully, they need to stop bullying. If they're being bullied... They need to protect themselves. They need to find those people that will protect them from bullies. Uh, they and, and, and teachers, adults in general, don't ignore it. 
don't ignore it. If some kid says, hey, I'm being bullied, don't say, um, don't just say, um, well, stand up for yourself. Because some kids just simply can't. They don't know how to do it. Their personalities are either shy, introverted, or, or they just don't really think that the, the, the macho, put your fists up kind of thing is their way. And that's, I think that's perfectly fine. I think it's okay for, for a young boy, a little boy, to be a little, just a little, you know, non-aggressive. Just as I think it's okay for a girl to be a little more aggressive. As long as it's not hurting anybody, heck, she can play sports and be a beast. And the guy who's not aggressive can go into theater and be just fine as well. Um, and that's that goes into a lot of theories I have with, with a lot of the identity uh, issues that we have nowadays. Man, this is turning into quite the controversial topic on this vlog. Uh, trigger warnings! We got we gotta we gotta watch out for each other. We have to watch for bullying, look for bullying. Um, who is it? I think the first the first time or the first uh, hashtag for this uh, Keaton I saw was um, from Millie Bobby Brown who who uh, plays Eleven on Stranger Things. Amazing show. Love the show. She's phenomenal. She she's a super cool person. She's a super cool kid. Um, and uh, good on her for you know kind of putting this out there and sticking up for this kid and helping this kid. Uh, she used her platform for something good. And of course, you know, other <clears throat> celebrities followed suit, but I, I, if I'm not mistaken, she's kind of the one who started that trend. People who, who have higher influence, such as, you know, the, 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 the popular kids in school, the kids who have more influence in school, you need to, you need to push your, your peers and, and other classmates to, to be better. If someone's different, if someone's not part of your clique, that, that's fine, you know, if they <clears throat> don't have friends or whatever, I'm not saying, you know, be their best friend, that's not the, the easiest thing to do, to just bring someone into your, your, inner, your inner circle, I think your inner circle should be protected, but that doesn't mean you should shun them, that doesn't mean you should leave them to the wolves, I think it's, and I don't know, this, this could be controversial or whatever, I think it's the, um, what's the word, responsibility of stronger people to look out for the weaker people who, who can't look out for themselves. Um, tell me if I'm wrong, that's fine. Uh, put it in the comments below. I'm always up for a good conversation, but uh, if you're gonna be a jerk about it, you can leave. Those are my words on it um, from someone who was on both ends of the spectrum. It's There's no excuse for bullying. If, if you, I mean, they, some people say bullies are having a hard time themselves. You know, it goes to the adage, uh, hurt people hurt people. Um, and yeah, that's probably true. So we shouldn't just say, oh, bullies are going to be bullies, even though that they are. We should be trying to help them as well, protect the ones being bullied, reform the, the bullies, make everyone better. So that's that's today's video. It's another ramble fest. I ramble on. I have thoughts in my head and I put it together. But uh, man, I haven't been uploading weekly. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You know, I'm busy. I'm trying to look for an apartment with some guys, and um, hopefully they'll be on board with making some videos with me, and uh, I got some skit ideas I want to do, you know, for the new year, and some other vlog ideas I'll, I'll get going on, and, you know, I'll be, uh, be making some videos, yeah? Making some, making some videos. So, be better people. Don't be bullies. Protect those from bullies. Finger guns, the usual. Um, have a positive, fantastic week. Ooh, another update. I uh, have, uh, like the maniac that I am, signed up to do uh, a half marathon in April. So that's why you know I went for a run earlier, and I gotta. I'm trying to find a gym because it is way too cold to be running. I've uh, felt like I've been getting a little sick because I was running out in the cold. And so, be rooting for me. Um, I'm gonna be doing that. Whether I do it well or not, <laughs> the goal I think is to, to do the half marathon under two hours, which if I can project myself, if I can kind of put a prediction on myself, I think I can get it in two and a half hours. I'm going to strive for better, of course. I'm going to try and get it in the two hours, um, but uh, we'll see. You know, pray, you know, be praying for me if you're uh, a praying person. Pray I stay healthy. Uh, if, you got any, uh, if you got any tips, I'll take them. That's today's video. See you later.